So now I'm going to give you an overview of the recent apps page uh, in Android. If you're using a Pixel phone or something that's more vanilla Android, it kind of works the same. So if you just swipe up and get into your recent apps, however you would do that if you use the buttons to get in in or if you're in the gesture navigation system like I am, this is how you can access it. And from here, you can swipe away apps just like so to dismiss them and close them out in the background. You can go ahead and select on your recent apps to go ahead and open them. And you can see at the bottom of the screen here, we get the Google search bar, um, which you can see is on your home screen at the bottom. But this is also nice because if you're in an app and you swipe up, you have instant access um, to that Google search bar, which you can go and search for um, anything you want, or you can also do a search for certain apps. So if you just search like Chrome or something, you can see the app pops up at the bottom. And from here, you can open the app or select and hold on it and put it on your home screen somewhere. So it's an easy way to kind of go and find uh, different apps, especially if you have a lot loaded up on your phone. And kind of one other thing you can do in here is you can turn on split screen for different apps. So if you just go ahead and get into the recent apps, apps tab, you just tap on the icon at the top here, and you can see we get the split screen option here. So we'll go ahead and tap that, and then it'll have us select the second app we want open. We can either select from the apps we already have open, or we can actually swipe into our app drawer and click on the app that we want. So you can say I open the calculator here at the bottom and with this black bar in the middle, if you select it, you can kind of slide and adjust how big one app is compared to the other. Or if you want to take one of the apps full screen like the calculator, we'll just swipe it all the way up. And now the calculator is in full screen mode. So that's kind of an overview of the recent apps page and what you can do with it and how to do split screen and things like that. The last thing down here are your predictive apps. And those are basically just things your phone or apps you think your phone thinks you're gonna open at that specific day um, and time. So that does get better over time the more and more you use your phone. So sometimes that's a nice easy way. You'll just open it up and instead of having to search for an app, you'll see the one you want is already right there. So that's an overview of the recent apps page. Hopefully that helps.